Hi, I'm Dr. Langley with Pine Ridge Family Medicine. And one of the common surgical and preoperative things that I hear about in my clinic and that I saw a ton of while I was doing rotations with general surgery back in med school and residency is hernias. And especially abdominal umbilical hernias around your belly button are super, super common. And a lot of people don't even notice that they're there. I just happen to find them on physical exam once in a while and mention, hey, that's there. If you see these warning signs, then you should be seen for them. But otherwise, fun fact, you have a little bit of an umbilical hernia there. So let's talk a little bit about what hernias are. So they are most often noticed by having a little bit of a bulge or pressure type feeling. Um, or maybe you've noticed that there's a spot that's tender to touch. And these can happen all over your abdomen. It can be on the front of your stomach, around your belly button, where you've had any surgical incisions of the past, around your sides, um, and in men especially around the groin region. There's indirect and direct inguinal hernias. Inguinal is kind of like the groin area, or even a little bit further down on your leg almost um, for a, a femoral hernia. So lots of places, all related and kind of close to the stomach because what's commonly sticking out is little bits of intestine. Um, it can also be just little bits of fat that are sticking out and that can be uncomfortable too by all means. So what happens is that there's a gap. So you're supposed to have muscle and fascial tissue surrounding your intestines or kind of in a cylinder around your stomach. But different events during development as a baby can make there be a little bit of a gap in that cylinder of muscle and fascial tissue. Um, so around the belly button is a really common place for babies to even be born with um, because they had that umbilical cord going through there and that tends to lead to more of a little spot that can develop a little weakness in the wall that's surrounding your intestines. And so with increased pressure, whether that's pressure from having a normal bowel movement or being adult and weightlifting, or having a pregnancy that's putting a lot more pressure in your abdomen than is typically there, uh, or having constipation where you're increasing the pressure on purpose to try to get stool out, um, those can all press against those little defects, those little weaknesses in the wall of the, of the musculature and the fascia and make things come out where they aren't supposed to. That little defect of weakness, things that pressure is building up and they need to go somewhere, so they stick out through that little uh, spot. And they can get bigger with time or they can start out pretty big too. Um, so that's why things like having a bowel movement can cause extra pain, weightlifting can cause extra pain, um, or it can cause more of a bulge. If you can actually see where the, the hernia is, you might notice that or when you bear down like that, you can see more of a bulge. Or even just when you're sitting, there's more of a bulge. And then when you lay down, the bulge goes away because of just that extra added pressure from sitting up. So that's the idea of what a hernia is. There is lots of places that they can be, but the most common are abdominal and groin or inguinal hernias. Um, and you need two things. You need a weakness in that wall and you need increased pressure on the inside of the stomach to see them really well. And sometimes you notice that, that bulge, that pain, that pressure when you're having a bowel movement. Sometimes you notice just that if you happen to touch there, it's more tender. Um, and so, But sometimes it can get so bad that the, whatever's sticking out will start irritating the skin. So the skin will start getting red or even dying and becoming ischemic or even becoming a little ulcer, a little sore spot from constantly being rubbed from the inside um, by things that aren't supposed to rub against it. Um, so those are more complicated when the skin starts being involved. Another complication that we worry about is whether it's fat or intestine sticking out through that hole, is it being stuck? That's called incarceration, it being trapped there. And the worry is that that fat or intestine can start to die because it's trapped and it's not getting its blood supply that it needs. And especially with intestine, that means if there's a spot of intestinal wall that's dying, then you can have fecal matter coming out of there to places that it's not supposed to be in, causing bad infections. 
So signs of incarceration are that usually you can stick the thing, whatever it is that's sticking out back in with, by kind of poking at it. If you can't do that anymore and it suddenly starts hurting a lot more and turning dark and red and splotchy looking from the outside, that's actually a surgical emergency. So incarceration, if there's any doubt in your mind that something is stuck there where it wasn't stuck before, that you need to go to the ER for and probably have urgent surgery to make sure that worse things don't happen. Uh, assuming that it's not complicated, you don't have skin compromise, you don't have signs of entrapment, um, and it's just your typical run-of-the-mill hernia that might be uncomfortable or you might not even notice it, what are you supposed to do about that? Those are the most common hernias that I see in clinic. And most of the time it's, well, let's wait and see if it ever causes you problems. If already you've started adjusting your weightlifting routine to accommodate it and you can't lift as much as you used to, so you're changing your life for it, well, that's not cool. We need to do something about that. And that's when I would consider surgery if it's getting in the way of your life. But otherwise, if it's not causing you terrible pain, then usually we can just watch and wait and make sure it doesn't get entrapped or incarcerated in the future. Um, it's important when you go to the doctor to make sure that this really is a hernia because there are other things that can kind of look like hernias. Um, things like little um, typically benign masses that can grow along the uh, along your abdomen someplace can kind of look like hernias so that's a good thing to, to evaluate with your doctor. Um, there's also uh, something called diastasis rectus, very common especially postpartum, um, where your two major abdominal muscles that run down your th the front of your stomach get spread out a little bit in the middle. There's more of a gap than there used to be. And so when you sit up, you see this big line of bulge sticking out from your stomach where the muscle uh, has spread out. So you just have some fascia holding those intestines in there. Um, and it can be uncomfortable. It can make you have weaker abdominals that aren't as functional. Um, so there's lots of physical therapy for that. I've heard of surgery being done for that if it's a really severe case, uh, but that's really something to talk about with your surgeon and if physical therapy hasn't helped. Um, in general, I don't like surgery very much unless we really have to do it. Uh, there's lots of complications that can happen during surgery, so try other things first. But that's not technically a hernia. That's called a diastasis. Diastasis rectus, a separation of the rectus abdominis muscles. Um, and sometimes people will have uh, some funny things going on with their belly button. Um, it's called, usually called a urachal anomaly, uh, where sometimes you get a, a little bit of an infection or actually a little bit of urine can come out there. Uh, and that's actually a remnant of when they were a baby, when they were still in utero in their mom's stomach. And that's not technically a hernia, but still definitely something to see your doctor about. So something that your primary care doctor, your family doctor can definitely see and take a look and, and see if they can feel like when you're sitting up, they can see the bulge when you're laying down. They can feel where the bulge used to be and kind of feel the edges of the hole where the defect, where things are sticking out. Um, so those are helpful aspects of the exam. They might also want to do a CT scan, especially if you're really seriously thinking about surgery, to see just exactly how big it is and exactly how many layers of tissue it's going through. Um, so these are all things that you can expect when you visit your doctor. Uh, surgeries can be either laparoscopic, that's with the, the cameras and the tiny little incisions, or they might have to be open if it's a serious defect um, or you've got other complications going on. They might have to make a bigger incision to make sure that they really seal up, uh, usually with mesh, that defect that you have uh, in your abdominal wall to make sure it doesn't come back in the future. So hopefully that's a nice overview of what hernias are, what they might feel like when it's more urgent for you to go to the doctor and when you need to just go to the doctor to make sure that you're right, that this is really what's going on and you're not missing something else and whether you'll need to have surgery or not. And if you found this interesting, maybe watch this other video that I also think you'll will find interesting and definitely please subscribe to our channel right there uh, so you can find out when we release more videos. Thank you so much for watching.